Imagine you are blind or visually impaired and need to find your way around a building alone. Difficult, right? Tactile information and orientation systems are of great assistance here, enabling people in greater need of help to partake in particular areas of life largely independently. Given that we found ourselves ever more frequently dealing with the topic of tactile orientation systems, we couldn't but notice that what the market had to offer absolutely failed to meet the requirements. So we set ourselves the goal of becoming innovative, specifically in this direction, and developing a new product. The result? 3D factor panel and 3D handrail markings carrying information needed by the blind and visually impaired. Dietmar Ogris has been blind for 17 years. He has learned to cope with his handicap and lives life to the full. Tactile orientation panels for the blind and visually impaired, as here at the BG und BRG Kirchengasse School in Graz, help to keep him in a good mood. Both the legend and the plan of the site feature braille and pictograms. That provides orientation. I have the big advantage that with the plan before me, I have the chance to orient myself outside with regard to the building situation and the whole site independently and without help from others. And of course, also to look at how it is laid out. In addition to orientation panels, tactile handrail markings are also in use at the BG und BAG Kirchengasse. This guarantees barrier-free access in stairways too. This is actually a standard. If one is teaching children with impaired senses, for example visually impaired, that one installs systems for guidance like these, and I'm actually very happy that this has now been done. I must say it's a brilliant idea, because it offers me independence and I'm able to decide if I go there, what do I want to get to, what do I need there, and even if I'm just interested to know what that place there looks like. The Raunjak Intermedias Company in Steins designs, develops and produces these tactile orientation aids by means of a unique 3D process. With a patent filed in 2009, the print products are manufactured in compliance with Austrian standards. The company has invested 114,000 euros to date in an effective marketing concept. Both the province of Styria and the EU subsidy program for regional competitiveness in Styria 2007-2013 have each contributed 28,500 euros to the strategy project. Given that people still tend to be unwilling to raise this topic and that it's not so popular or in the public eye, marketing is, of course, that much more difficult and we probably wouldn't have succeeded without this subsidy. But it's heading this way. Given there's a, an EU guideline intended to be effective by 2015 that all public buildings must be barrier-free. Because of prevailing economic conditions, this has been extended to 2019. Here, a very, very high standard is being set, but there is also a very, very high accumulated need to upgrade public buildings. Yet more insights. That will please Dietmar Ogris too.